I thought the scenery was amazing, um, particularly Mount Cook and Queenstown and Tiana. So I highlights Queenstown with beautiful I'm going back there. Mount Cook and just the general trying to see as many more active boulders as I could. Just the general stand of the grounds and particularly the Park. It was just extraordinary. Especially when we all got there and just like, dropped our bags and our chins and amazement at the surroundings. Queen's Park Oval, <coughs> in the cargo. Queen's Park Oval, obviously. But not just the oval and the beauty of it, but the way the Blair Hobbs was bowling on that day melded with the surroundings. His bowling was like sunlight through the trees. It was like the like the green lush grass. Mm. Park it's Queen's Park, Queen's Park. What a beautiful ground. And to make two on such a good ground was really <laughs> worth the effort. <laughs> Definitely the grounds we played at. Queen's Park was uh, was a real highlight. Look, I think we all know, we all think Queen's Park was a highlight. Actually, felt like cricketers as we were walking out on the deck there. Uh, unfortunately, our, um, our display on the field didn't quite back up our feelings. Uh, it all take coincides with my tour of low light, which was um, getting out on after I'd been for an hour. Warby. Oh, Warby. Oh, yeah, just, just, hey, you got to zoom in on that too. Watching Dion Skull. I think Warby was certainly a definite highlight. Tell the festivities after the first game. Very entertaining. Uh, generally being around, stuffing around for two weeks, which is good. Being able to uh, complete the initiation of Warby. Breakfast, uh, also a highlight. Oh, meeting, meeting 14 new friends. So I met a lot of dudes I didn't know, and um, they've all turned out to be really nice blokes, which is good. And I think the groups functioned well, which has been good. And you got 14 strangers who are, you know, absolute assholes. And uh, I think there was a very attractive cement mixer in Omaru. Yeah, you liked that, didn't you? Uh, the 4 a.m. finish on Timaru with, with Harry was interesting. Sitting out in front of a server for 40 minutes when it's about 3 degrees <laughs> without a jumper is probably not the smartest idea. But three 18 year old birds, we had a crack. It was good fun. A lot of them getting the t shirt that said, uh, I got bowled with a guy who got coached by DPEC. You tell that was a bit of a highlight. That was you, Nick, did that. Uh, the hospitality in Bluff was also very, very nice. <laughs> I thought that's. that's that was a highlight. It was a true reflection of how New Zealand is so warm and open. Harry oh, Harry and Rose. She was lovely. She was a nice lady. I think overall I just found everything in New Zealand to be just like Australia, a little bit better. Uh... Actually, even though I only scored three runs and probably cost us the game by blocking the six <laughs> overs, I actually got a lot out of the last game. The catch I took off of his ball and put his back over was <laughs> Oh, the partnership with Richie yes, two days ago, it's very good. I think the form I was in before I got hit in the face in the first yeah. game. Yeah, also. I set myself coming at 200 runs and uh, just got there in the last game. Oh, well, <laughs> oh, first yeah, got the Kiwi. Yeah, I got the Kiwi. He's stuffed in the bag there somewhere. Um, I took more catches than I took wickets. That's disappointing. <laughs> spell against Appleby seconds, probably my best spell. And, um, in the winning roads against the high school. I think getting through that um, white, red wine, milk, yeah. rum with the egg in it. Yeah, getting a couple of not outs was good. Um, closing out the innings the other day with Jared was, was nice, like batting out to the 50 overs, even though we lost heavily. Uh, coming third in the poker tour. Oh, the poker tour. Probably hitting the biggest six of the tour. Yeah. At um, Appleby. Nice. I'm very proud. She's being this quick. Lost. <laughs>